Hey, it's JC1424 once again with ATV Off-Road Fury. In the last episode, we went for some Maxxis Nationals racing at Red Rocks. And uh, that was pretty simple, you know, because that track can be pretty fun. And uh, we were with the Yamaha Blaster, and we really blasted that more than I thought we would. We were in first just about the entire race. So this time we're going for Stadium Supercross to race at Wilkes-Barre. Um, yeah, single race, five laps. Actually, it was just um, making sure that this ATV can ride this track, and oh my god, it can't. So uh, yeah, we're going to wear Thor Blue, and we're going to use the Polaris 500, and we're going to be a freaking man. And we're going to go to the garage and make sure that this... ATV can uh, do stuff right. Well, um, it it is a uh, really slippery tires, so friction. Let me think about friction because it's kind of like a backwards thing in my head. More friction means stick to ground. So, uh, yeah, the low tire friction is slippery. We need a bunch of that stuff. Uh, I think I'll, I'll want to set too high, so I'll just kind of like put it right here. Um, it was a bit bouncy. The AZ was bouncy. Like, it would bounce off the ground, and then it would, and I can't steer whenever I'm in the air, so it would bounce off the track, which is kind of inconvenient, you know? So, um, trying to think about how, how it was, uh, the rear spring needs to be, I guess, stronger and the front spring needs to be weaker. Hopefully that's good enough. And um, we need lots of acceleration at this track because there are so many freaking jumps, you know? Um, more steering. So hopefully this setup does something for me you know because I was practicing and I was like oh my god I can barely win with this thing I, I kept on finishing in like second and third the snack for this episode is the one I've been trying to have for like the past three episodes of ATV Off-Road Fury it is Cheetos extra flaming hot my favorite snack in the world ever since it came out look at this so red that's not how you put a Cheeto in your mouth but oh well to get some of those. Those are amazing. I love those. Okay, here we go. And we're off. Little wheelie. Okay, so the acceleration is pretty darn good. Look at all the ATVs we got with us this time. Ah! What in the world was that? I was stuck on him. I couldn't go anywhere. You know, that's really how you start out an, an ATV off three episode. You crash, just like that. Okie doke. Well, let's try to recover from that crap that that guy got us into. So I am a little bit more comfortable with how this setup works on this ATV right now. Um, okay. That ATV went on a journey afterwards. Aha! You're just having a terrible race, aren't you? <laughs> I bet he hates my guts now. I just made everything a lot worse for him. And I uh, I can't get my, my momentum going right there, I guess. Okay, that's a good jump. Easier to land where I want to. Oh my god, that's not how I want things done. <laughs> I got so much momentum and there were only a few jumps left. Well, it jumps a little too far in some spaces, but I guess I... Uh, Cheetos! So spicy! My throat! Itchy! Burning! I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that, but it was itching so bad and it was freaking annoying. I think we might be able to... I, I thunk! <laughs> I thunk! I think we might be able to win on the first try here. Because a while ago, I was just practicing to see what in the world this was, and oh my god, Cheetos, please stop! Okay. Ground. <laughs> ground. Please ground. Don't do that. Uh, 
It's actually easy to get my momentum back at these parts of the tracks. The, the tracks. The track? We're not racing at more than one track. Does it look like we're racing at more than one track at once? What am I talking about? Yeah, so I adjusted this ATV pretty well. I guess there's thumb. Thumb. I can't say shit right now, can I? Aha! He crashed! And I ran over. Oh, that was a her. I ran over her head. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a great rider, aren't I? I was having so many problems riding this ATV. I was landing in terrible places, losing my momentum over and over again. And gosh, this ATV won't stay on its wheels. I guess I did something wrong because it keeps on doing that. Like, I, you've, I'm pretty sure you've noticed that too. That my ATV keeps on coming off of its wheels. I don't know what that is. I don't know how I can fix that. So, uh, if you are like an ATV uh, expert or just like a setup expert for that matter, please tell me how I fix that problem. The problem of my ATV coming off of its wheels like that over and over again. Gosh, some of these things I've I learned whenever I was practicing that you can't make the jump unless you have the momentum for it. In other in other cases, you have to just uh not pitch it because if you do pitch it it'll cause you to not jump far enough because you don't have the momentum to actually make the jump with the pitching. Like that jump for the finish line. I totally messed up that section right there, but no, everybody's way far behind. These adjustments are definitely doing something for me. I was finishing like second and third, and then finishing last place because I lost my momentum somewhere terribly. And oh my god, gosh, did you see that? That was no. No, 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 I don't think so. No, 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 no. Uh, no, <laughs> okay, we won, first try. If I did include my practice runs that I did, man, I, I think I ran like four races here trying to figure out the setup. I wasn't recording it, I was like, I need to make sure. Because Polaris 500 is really a nationals track kind of ATV, naturally. With the way it drifts around, it's meant for those kind of tracks. But uh, Stadium Supercross, I was like, I need to make sure I know what I need to change to make this to to Mac to make this ATV work right. And uh, I got a pretty good setup. The only problem I've had in this race was the freaking all over the dark place. You know, it was uh, getting on two wheels and flipping over. Then this guy started stalking me out of that corner. I did not approve of that. So uh, yeah. Let me get to some more Cheetos, extra flaming hot. My favorite snack in the world now. Amazing. You gotta try these. Eh. Okay. <laughs> and oh my god, though, it was getting to my throat when I was trying to talk. Cheetos extra flaming hot is not the kind of snack that you wanna eat a eat one or two and then talk because it really screws with your throat what record did I break it didn't maybe like a five lap race record or something I was going pretty fast but that guy was right behind me so I don't know how that could have been a, a uh, five lap record kind of race the reason why my name was already typed in by the way was because whenever I was practicing I somehow set a new record jump of 171 feet. I thought that was dumb. I set a record of 171 feet. Uh, longest jump at that track. But, uh... I still finished, like, third place or something. I don't remember whenever I was practicing. So, yeah. I, I really know the Polaris 500 pretty well. The Polaris 400, not really. Evidently, it was not working out for me pretty very well whenever I was racing at a stupid Somers Raceway. Gosh, I'm glad we got through Somers Raceway after 11 tries, crashing past the finish line in a dramatic fashion. So, um, gosh, the Cheetos Extra Flame and Hot flavor, that was out of stock for like three or four weeks <coughs> in my area and I loved it I love those and whenever they were gone I started to get pretty freaking mad 
So, uh, advice. Don't don't try uh, talking at whenever you are um, recently eating those or whatever, you know? <clears throat> it was not working for me. I has, I'm still having a problem now, and I can't skip the demo and talk at the same time. So, uh... Hmm. He cut the corner. That's not how you do it. Of course, I kept on cutting the corner at Stormwind's Raceway, and eventually I won. Crashing past the finish line with another with the that got that, that guy that was on the havoc the havoc performer Well, I'll see you next time whenever uh, we do FIFA 14 PSP uh, Which is next week and man FIFA 14 PSP That JC 1424 golf is getting intense. I am tied for the lead at the in, at the table I barely managed to tie the game last time so uh I mean if you think that the FIFA 14 PSP Let's Play is boring or something. It is extremely entertaining. I was raging, then happy, then raging, then happy. Then I exploded in happiness whenever I found out that PSG lost their game and we were tied for the for the lead on the points table. It's getting interesting, okay? Things are getting crazy. That was one of the best games, best episodes on my channel, you know? No more demo. I wish you could just pause the freaking main menu, you know? Whatever. Lots of talking. Um... The next ATV Offered Fury episode will be not next Friday, but the Friday after that because it's an interval of NASCAR PSP and ATV Offered Fury. So see you next time. Episode over.